All right, team, what's going on? I'm Tim Jenkins, and welcome to All Things QB, where I watch every single clip and break down the most important ones. Today, we are jumping into Bo Nix, week two against the Pittsburgh Steelers. So without further ado, let's jump into the film. All right, team, we are jumping into it. First one I've got for you guys, we got a third and 10 opening drive. First home game for Bo Nix as a Bronco. First third and 10, and we are running an absolute garbage concept. What a way to open it up for the Denver garbage man. This is just awful. Third and 10, rookie quarterback, home debut. And we played the first half of this game was the most neutered version of quarterback play that I've ever seen. And it has nothing to do with Bo Nix. We just hamstrung him as a coaching staff, which inspired the title of this video, which is our Bo Nix and Sean Payton awful. Because I'm just like, all right, so you guys talk to me about what we're doing concept wise here. We've got, so we're in bunch, right? Okay, we're in bunch. We've got our Y. He's taken a, let's call it an over route, right? Really more of a cross, right? Our Z, he's going to be on a dig. Our F's going to work up in the vapor trails and have an option. I think best argument is that the F is supposed to get through 10. In reality, it's just not true. Like every single sit route you've ever seen in your entire life is designed to six yards. So it's like I'm trying to give you guys a best case scenario that there's just no shot that that's what there's just no shot that that's what it is. Uh, listen, third and ten sucks, right? You don't want to ever be in third and ten. I just like this feels to me like a give up call on third and ten, like a hey let's just punt. Which maybe hey that's what they were thinking. Maybe they were thinking third and ten, let's just punt. Get our defense out there. So be it. It's just, to me, it's not a coincidence that in the second half, when we start calling an aggressive game and we start hunting with the football, that even though we miss some of the hunt shots, guess what? Our offense starts rolling. I don't think that's a coincidence. I don't. So. Just. Yeah. Hey, good football. Good, accurate football. This one, here we go. Third and two. Right? Third and two, and I told you guys I'd let the clip run. I told you I'd let the clip run all season. So what are we cooking up on third and two, right? We've got double verts with a cross, okay? On the surface, I don't hate the concept. We've got our Y and our H, okay? We've got a double chip situation, obviously trying to slow down the pass rush on third and two. We've got an isolated vert here. We've got an isolated vert here. And then we've got this guy. He gets to work the bender because he's the only slot receiver out there. Okay, he's working more of a cross. Here's what I'll tell you. Okay, and I think Bo starts to climb the pocket. Obviously, Bowles gives up a quick edge here, right? Obviously, Bowles knows we need much deeper on our run by. Okay. We can't run a guy by our quarterback at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven yards. Probably not the run by. Yeah. This is more the set you want to see. Right? With that being said, I think we have two shots out here. If Bo plays with his eyes downfield, burn it up five, hitch ball out. I think he's got two different opportunities here, which is burn up five, hitch balls out. I think we can put this one on the break, beat the safety driving. I also think if we decided, hey, I don't want to read this thing out in the slot, right? I want to go ahead and I just want to take this vertical. I think we could also burn up five, hitch, and we could throw either of these verticals, and I'd feel good about it on third and two with the call that came into our helmet. The other aspect of this is I cannot believe that this is our best third and two call. The, I mean, basically what we said was third and two, we think we're going to get some sort of man coverage, some sort of single high coverage. 
and we're going to throw it deep versus, hey, let's run a pick play. Let's, you know. So, listen, I, I appreciate it. But let's go ahead and fire this thing then. If we get this called into our headset, let's go ahead. Let's five hitch fire this thing. This is also the first of two really soft sacks. And we cannot take soft sacks. Okay. That sounds super dirty, but it's what I mean is like we can't be soft in the pocket. We cannot. There's a difference between what Peyton used to do when he had a free rush or the fall over. There's a difference between that and then when I'm climbing the pocket going down. Like those are two different things. This to me is just not a reason to go down. Burn up five, hitch, get the ball out of your hand. I also can't believe the drop here is five hitch instead of a three hitch, but this feels like more of a three hitch concept. So we're two into this thing and I've got two no grades because I, the concepts, the quarterback play here, we've got a bad ish. Okay. I'll let this clip run. We got a first and 10. And you guys are going to laugh like hyenas when we get to this clip again. Because this clip is going. So we've got, let's start to, let's try to unpack this thing. Okay. We've got a little spot route here. We got a bullet route here from our back. We've got a cross with a basic. Okay, assuming this is an alert slash one, meaning, hey, based on the look, this might be our first progression. If not, we're working our spot concept. We're working our spot to our over back to our in route. Okay. So we go spot. We don't like it. We get off the spot. I'm not really sure. If we gave it a full chance, but. Man, I'd love to see a layer shot on this over route right now. I would love to see this be one of those balls where, boom, okay, I work off it. And I just slight navigate the pocket. And I let this guy work. And delivering to his check down. Yeah, it's just, I'm not sure this is the ugliest like pocket, you know, we'll see. So to me, it's like, yeah, I got to check down. All right. Not a great design, but, or sorry, not a great job floating in the pocket. I think we could get to that over. But from what he was feeling to get there, we'll just put it as a bad-ish because I think, man, we should really drive that over route in that situation. Right here, we're just thinking nothing to do with the Broncos, nothing to do with Bo Nix. It has everything to do with the fact that a third down hob check down for barely a first down got an audible yeah from the Jenkins boys. So it's like biscuits, you know? Because I'm not even sure this is the best spot to be going with the football. You know? Here's what I'll say is it does feel like, feels like this guy's working underneath, right? Taking this away. We've got a sit, a stick, a clear with the hob. All right. You know, part of me thinks this ball really should be catch flip thrown to our isolated receiver on the outside shoulder, but I get, hey, this guy's flying out there. Getting to the back, getting vertical, we'll take it. We will take it. I'm just more concerned about the lack of offense is than what got an audible applause, big applause from the Jenkins boys. Normally, they're, you know, you're getting that for like a deep post. Hey, a stick it a post. Nope, we got the hob. Or maybe the boys just know ball. 
right? That could be it too. That could be it too. All right, we're in the second quarter. And we've got a miss on the sale. Biscuits. Biscuits, biscuits, biscuits. What are we trying to get done here? What we're trying to get done is we've got our little sale route here, a little sale corner, and then we've got a sit. Little high low concept, one to two, or one to two, depending on how you want your quarterback to read it. Good concept. 24 sits just a little bit, right? 24 sits just a little bit. Man. Chance to fit this one in there. Chance to layer this thing in, and we're high. I do think an area for this like these kind of concepts to improve is this needs to be a juke route, right? Or just a straight up speed cut. We need more. We need it to where they can't pass this off to an internal guy. We need to really make sure with this speed out, we're stressing this guy. This needs to be the guy we're putting stress on. I don't love having the, so we don't convert this one. But I've got to say, I love, I really do like the concept here because we get to just simple spacing, but we get to it at least a little bit creative, right? Just inside out, one, two to three. I think Bo does a good job standing in there, especially after, hey, we took that one sack where it's kind of like we're bailing out early. Does a good job standing in there, throwing this thing on time. Gets hit, but that's, I mean, that's playing, that's life in the NFL, right? You're going to get hit, letting this thing roll. I think it's a darn good throw. I think it's a darn good throw. I love that he's standing in here. I mean, horrible by our center, if we're just calling a spade a spade. Horrible by our center, standing in there. Let's this thing rip, turns, falls pretty good. You know, is it PI? Is it not PI? Do we need to make a catch? <sighs> Too hard to tell. Too hard to tell. I tell you, I think it's probably PI. I think he's probably through the back. You know, the Chiefs got it. Chiefs got a call there, right? Guy went through the back. Chiefs got it. Got this marked as bad with the notes, awful football. I don't know what to say. So we checked to this, right? All right, oh, hey, blah, 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 blah. And we get, I don't know what concept we have here because I've got a slot fade and a jogging fade. So it's like Corlin Sutton, he's going to jog. He's going to jog his go route. He'll get to about eight yards. He'll get to about eight yards. We're going to run a slot fade. The nice thing is the speed differential here creates somewhat of a coherent concept because Corlin is just so slow here. Why? I don't know. So, so Bo checked to it and then Bo put his eyes here. So we got slot fade and go together. Obviously, somebody busted a route here or we're running a concept that is unfit for the National Football League. Then to the top, we've got a double sit with like a little in route behind it, which I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that little gator, little gator concept. But I mean, I want to know what brought his eyes here in a too high. And I also want to know what routes these guys are supposed to be running. Because this is just like, I mean, that is just the note, the Tim notes. You guys can see them up here, right? The note I put, very applicable. Awful football is, that's an understatement of what we just watched. 
I guess I just don't. And I don't know if Cortland Sutton is sprinting here. I really don't. And that's, you know, when you're, when you watch tape and you, and you try to provide analysis, the thing that's tough is navigating that respect factor for guys that are out there competing, right? Cause you have massive respect for the guys out there competing. You have massive respect for guys that have been very productive in the national football league. But simultaneously, there's a degree too, as a coach to which you sit there and you go, you know, if I can't tell whether or not you're sprinting, are you helping our football program being out there? Does not feel like it. Here we got a little QB draw. All right, we're going to check to this. We got a little draw. And guess what? We've got a highly successful draw. Not the most exciting thing in the world when our design QB runs are our most effective offense. With that being said, man, Bo Nix is athletic now. Seventy four getting after it. I like that. I like that. Our center had a tough day. Our buddy had a tough day. Just Seventy four does a good job getting up to the second level. Bo, good job protecting himself. He's fast, dude. That's some speed now. That is some speed. I will not lie. I will not lie. This is bad. This is so again soft sack. Soft sack. These are the ones we can't have. These are the ones where it's like, we have to be tougher. We have to be more firm. We have to be more stable in the pocket. The ghost of TJ Watt sacks us here. The ghost of TJ Watt sacks us. The ghost of Christmas present or past. Just like there was an earthquake in California and our quarterback fell over. I shouldn't say that because he actually does get a paw on him right here. And I'm assuming that uh, TJ Watt a TJ Watt on his back, left hand slap to your calf probably feels like a golden retriever latching onto you. We still can't go down. Over right here looking at his tackle going, oh, biscuits, my bad, man. That one's tough. We got a good, though. Let's bounce back. Let's bounce back. We've got a good. We've got a good here. we got the speed out. Yes. Simple football. Quick game. Spread them out. Put a guy who wants to run in the slot. I'm telling you, though, the speed in which we have a vertical presence on this takeoff is not going to, it's going to hurt us. These plays are going to hurt us.
it's just like, guys, at some point we have to be honest, okay? We've got a tight end running a slot fade, okay? And he is, what, a yard, yard and a half ahead of the X receiver. Like our X, right? And he's also bowing out way more horizontally. So it's like he's covering more ground. It's not likely. It's gonna just, it's gonna snap up and bite us at some point. One, two, three, reset ball. One, two, three, reset ball. I love it. A good quarterback play. Good ball. Good concept. And I mean, listen, I do. I, I, I mean, I've been hard on Cortland so far in this video, but let's be honest. He makes a good play here, right? That's a good route. It's a good route I like that man some let's drive the ball down the field a little bit let's hunt with the football let's be aggressive with our play calling let's be aggressive with our decision making at the quarterback position let's go make some plays i love that one i love that one and then we follow it up my, my my only beef with the whole thing is that it took until the third quarter for us to start doing some of this, right? Between the dagger on the in route, the trick play. That's my only issue. That's my only issue at all. Now we've obviously, we've got the trick play that I think everybody in Denver loved. Everybody in America that was watching. You just have to love this. What are we doing? We got Wildcat. We got our H. We're going to run this little jet sweep. We're going to bring our QB around. We'll flip it to our QB. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw an ultra. We're going to throw a stick at eight post, not an ultra high. We just boom, jet sweep, flip it on the reverse, stock him, and then go. I want you guys to see this real quick. Watch this. Love that, man. I love that. hilarious this is a great throw moving slightly putting that thing up great play let's watch it one more time gosh that's special special stuff there all right team it is halftime we are 12 clips into this thing we've got 11 more clips to go but if you've enjoyed this video so far Please like the video, subscribe to this channel, and then as always, let's FTA this thing, which means comment for the algorithm. And then you football junkies like me, jump over to our Patreon account. The link is in the description. We've got more clips, longer breakdowns over there. Y'all support means the world to me. That's all I've got for halftime. You guys know the deal. Let's jump back into the film. Now I've got sort of a hilarious recall for you guys because... Remember the one that we talked about where I'm like, man, this one feels like it's designed to go to the over route, right? Sorry. We were like, oh, we'd love to see him work spot to the over, right? So now what do we have? We have the same concept dressed up from a different formation where we've got our spot, our bullet. We've got our over, across. And our dig. Oh, biscuits. That bullet's covered up on my head. But this is our alert slash one. This is probably our progression one, progression two, progression three. I'm assuming that on the sideline, they told Bo, man, that over route was wide open. So I'm assuming now Bo's thinking that over route can be wide open. Because we have utter disregard for what has to be our first progression at every level of football. 
We peek out there for the bullet. We see 90 get horizontal. We've got to take the spot route. Instead, we hang it. We hang on it. And it just, they pass. But these guys have to make defenses pay. When you have a shot play called and we have a perfect look for it, you have to finish. We have to finish it at this level. We can't miss these. And we definitely can't throw it six yards out of bounds. This throws way worse from the tight. It's just like, we don't even give them a chance to make a play. Remember the, the trick play, right? Slightly underthrown, you know? The trick play slightly underthrown, and guess what? It's okay because it gives your guy a chance to go make a play with people's backs turned to the football. Your guy can go make a play. Then, on that one, we overshoot it by a mile. This, we've got another third and 11, right? Third and 11, and we are running the same thing where we've got the double chip, right? We've got the go, we've got the go. This one can probably be a bender if we want it to be. We've got the go. This is the one that last time I was a little critical of Bo. I thought, hey, burn up five hitch, let it rip. This time instead of getting this time instead of getting uh the single high man look like we got last time, we get a zone look. It's like kind of like an invert Tampa. Because it's like you can see this guy kind of moves down here. He's gonna basically play half. He'll play half. And then you see this backer run like he's taking that away. You know, that's good defense, man. Third and 11. Third and 11 are brutal to try to convert. That's one thing I'll tell you. They're brutal to try to convert. They're especially brutal if we're going to reload the same concepts. Bo Nick scrambles. Yeah, just. Oh, this have to make that play. That's one that we just have to have. Look at this thing. That's tough. That one's tough. Oh, I told you I'd let it run. We got just a low ball in the deep over, right? We're running a shot play, which again, you just have to love to see. What a time, man. We got this deep over here. Just trying to hit this off of a shot look. We're just low. Brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. One of those you'd love to have back. All right, right here we got a really well designed shot play. Unfortunately, it gets blown up because of a protection issue. But this one actually, I mean, it, it's so funny because it's like, how many shot plays do you remember in the first half at all? Barely remember any of them, right? And then in the second half, it's like, how many shot plays? It feels like all we did was throw shot plays, right? And I'm wondering if there's some sort of middle ground where we do both and both, right? Look at this. 
my guy's going to be running wide open. Unfortunately, we just get killed and grab him. And I mean, listen, part of that's the Sears a good defense, right? 72 just lunge in, gets beat inside, grabs a hold of him. That's tough because that's a great design. Should be a big play. This one I really like because this was a jam when you get the ball back. So all in all, the answer for the original question are the is Bo Nix and Sean Payton, are Bo Nix and Sean Payton awful? No, the answer is no. I think the old saying in football applies. Things are never as good as they seem, and they're never as bad as they seem when you go watch the tape, right? What I'll say yesterday after watching the game live is I thought this was going to be the worst tape that I've watched since watching the Denver Broncos on tape. What I'll say is it's 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 really not even close to that. It wasn't bad. I thought Bo made some good throws. The the thing that I the thing that I I don't want to say worry, but the thing that I think is tough about this Broncos offense is I don't know what you can hang your hat on. I don't know what we do well. I don't know what we do top third in the league. We're not top third in protection. We're not top third in quarterback decision making. We're not top third in receiver separation. We're not top third in our run game. I'm just like, what do what do we do better than others? And it just doesn't seem like we have that. It doesn't seem like we have an identity. It seems like we're just kind of like trying to do everything. And then therefore we don't really do anything well. I think we're still trying to figure out what Bo is good at, which would love to figure that out during training camp of the preseason, but it's where we're at. I don't think Bo Nix played as bad as I think a lot of people are making it out to be. I think the play calling in the first half was arguably the worst that we've seen breaking down Broncos tape, including Pat Shermer and Hackett. Let's not forget Hackett. I sometimes forget he was here. So those two things being said, I do think the play call in the second half much better. And I think if we could get some sort of blend of the shot plays with the strictly quick game, we'd be okay. Plus let's run it still. So I don't know. I want you guys to comment. You let me know what you think. And until next week, peace.